All right, and we are back going straight to what we have for you on what I say hot topics are trending. And of course, at first here, we're going to do this together. So the first trendy story is Hailey Bieber shuts down claims that Justin mistreats her. Um, this we have very, been very vocal about the relationship. Who is and this now? Hailey? Hailey Bailey. I said Bailey. Bieber, yes. And of course, there have been claims that Justin Bieber Who mistreated her. I don't know. This is like young love, but I don't really know what but to say about How does Justin them. mistreat her? That's insane. So, so I, I, I say this all the time, like, first and foremost, married couples should not bring their business to social media. It is the wrong place to get therapy mm. of any way, in any way, shape, or form, because social media has fitted a lot of sick people. I mean, yes, you may find help, but you also find a whole lot of tragedy online. Mm. And then, of course, if you're going to say your husband is mistreating it, you have to put it into a little much more perspective. Does he beat you? Does he try to have uh, some sexual immorality with you? <laughs> Does he not sexual. give you money? What is the mistreatment that a sweet guy like Justin Bieber is doing to you that is enough to make you come out online to say he's mistreating me? You know, apparently it was um, a, a false narrative that she came on Demi Lovato's show to Claire. And what she said is that Justin is, of course, is far from the truth. And it's a complete and utter opposite she shared because people had been saying that there, there, there was a time, I think, when he spoke loudly or harshly and he was termed as being mistreated or mistreating her mm. but she came on the show to say no that's not the case but regardless of how Justin Bieber may look if someone is mistreating you can all know because people package themselves but mm -hmm. you know I do not think I don't know I just I mean yeah. so I'm gonna say something like people believe that when people get married all of a sudden you are supposed to be an angel you're supposed to be a dove you know you're no longer who you were before mm -hmm. you got married that's a lie the moment an individual gets married, he's not a different person from who he or she used to be. Mm -hmm. They're just cohabiting yeah. the same space with one another. So if you got married to an individual who has anger issues, don't think that your love can stop him from being angry. He would just need to work on himself to be less angry or mm -hmm. control his angry outbursts. Mm -hmm. If Justin Bieber yells at you, I mean, that's an amazing thing. He'd probably be yelling at you with a falsetto. But, I mean, I'm just making a light out of the situation. Oh, the situation. If, if, if Justin is really pissed off at you at something, find out what it is. If your partner is angry, find out why is my partner angry? What can I do to make you less upset? Was it my fault? Was it our fault? Was it an environmental issue? Mm -hmm. Don't forget, people are under a whole lot of stress. So it could be one of many issues. But as long as he's not beating you, He's not uh, sexually abusing you, abusing you, emotionally abusing you in today's world. I don't think it's cause for concern. And, and once again, for married people, stop taking your business on social media. If you want to look for help, go to a shrink, go to a professional counselor, but, but stop taking friend. it online. Yeah. All right. So Instagram allows Hush Puppy to keep accounts. Of course, you know what happened. The last time he posted was 2020 mm -hmm. before it was picked up. But Instagram is saying that, of course, he can keep his account his account that it established uh, processes within law enforcement. Mm -hmm. It includes a policy on inmate takedown requests for prisoners active on social media. But my own issue is that, of course, he's in prison. He can't post. He doesn't have a phone in prison, yeah. I believe. You've been to prison before now. Yeah, it's a <laughs> long time ago. A Nigerian Dif prison, American prison. Nigerian prison. But ah, we yeah. did, like I said, we only did detention. It wasn't like I was held <laughs> for a crime. But in this I case, I want to know if... He can use his phone in prison in America. So prisoners are not even supposed to have cell phones. Sure, okay. So I think the most is maybe his attorney, a representative, mm -hmm. or somebody who is managing some aspect of his lifestyle who will be handling his social media account. But then again, the question is, why should Hush Puppy, or why should we allow a criminal to have, his have a social media account? He will continue to mislead the public it would continue to be a bad influence. And I think these are areas where, you know, we should really draw a line. It shouldn't be as if, oh, we're infringing on these fundamental human rights. I get that. I understand that. But Hush Puppy has done a whole lot of damage to the mindset of people around the world. He's created a, 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 mm. a series of false narratives that a lot of people have bought into. So allowing a social media account of a, of a, of a fraudster to exist where his lifestyle that is it's a fallacy is on display, I think is doing more harm than but good. What they say it should be shut down. Is that accounts are usually closed if they represent dangerous organizations? Yes, it does. Or individuals. So, mm -hmm. of course, it's showing a private um, lifestyle and all of that, luxury. But the only thing is that people would know that this guy is no longer is in prison. Let me ask you a question. Okay. Should we allow the social media handle of a pedophile no way. to be up? No way. Should we allow the social media handle 
of a corrupt politician who has clearly stolen money to, re to remain So maybe up. they still want people to still have free access to their services regardless, except in case where there's notoriety and the guy is probably working for some top um, mafian person. I think, or... I think Hush probably ticks all those boxes. I mean, he's obviously isn't doing it by himself. He has a series of accomplices. He must have broken bread with the top echelon of other crime syndicates worldwide. Mm. And it's only a matter of time before we find that out. I would tell you, take him off social media. All we right. need to start so purging we... and cleansing social media from some specific type of elements. I'm not hating on the fella. I mean, I like him as a, like, I like, I like another human being, but rules is rules. Mm -hmm. If you are a criminal, if you've done things that have, you know, you know, led a lot of people astray, you shouldn't be allowed to well, use maybe that kind still, of platform. He's in prison, so of course he can't have access to a lot of things. So maybe they still want to be able to retain him. They want him. Maybe, maybe he can keep, he can keep his Facebook account and his WhatsApp stories <laughs> or something, but not Instagram. But anyways, he's not. He doesn't have access to a lot of things, so he's he's suffering in there. Well, You'd I don't be know. Surprised. Maybe I don't know if. He, well, of course, he probably will be enjoying. He could be. Perks. I don't think he might be suffering. I mean, he Hush is a great looking guy. He could be somebody's wife in prison. <laughs> They'll treat him nice. He'll be getting perks. There's always. I watch too much of series. We see how this thing going. There are plenty of perks for a very plump guy like Hush no, Puppy in prison. Plenty of perks for a very well known um, thief in prison. Like I said before, he's such a nice, plump, round, sweet kind of guy. Let's move on to he the next He will not story. find it difficult finding a prison husband. I can tell okay. you for sure. Okay, so let's move on to our next story. Lighter's baby mama excited as he finally meets their son, Ari. Aww. You know, I mean, this guy is really young, 20, I think 21, and she's gone on. I don't know if you were following this Babies trend. Babies are having babies. She's gone on. She's gone, I have to say, because literally this story literally broke because she just kept going on and on about how he gave her STDs and how she was spending money and how she was sending money to him. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He, she said. He gave her. Lighter gave her an STD. And I kept saying, that's what she did said. She, did she specify the type of STD I do not that know. he gave to her? I don't know. I just feel like this is a kid having a child for another kid. How do you expect two of them to be able to sort their issues? He's a kid, for Christ's sake. Wow. So she finally says, I'm overwhelmed by all the messages where she shared a video of Lighter missing their son. For the first time, because I'm, apparently she said she used to send lots of money to him. Is his ma she just kept ranting and ranting, and I was just like, they should close this girl's media account. What is going on? You know, I'm still trying to get over the fact that Lighter gave her allegedly an STD. I'm, I'm still described you as a deadbeat dad. Wow, leave it to his responsibilities. Yeah, what do you just expect? Just going on and on, but he's a kid. He's not looking to marry. He's not marriage material now. So, so, so once again, not in the next five years or ten years. I, I tell Sorry, a lot of young people that you, you. Oh, man, it's like people don't listen to rap music any longer. Tupac said it one time, and I'm going to repeat myself. If you are not ready for a baby, you have no right to tell a woman when and how to make one. Having a child is a big responsibility. Yes, you may have all the money in the world, but money isn't the only factor that comes into play when a child is involved. You have to be there emotionally for that child. You have to just be there as a father figure. You have to be there as a support mechanism for the dear mama. And she's literally a child. She's 20 years old. When I was 20, having a child was the last thing on my mind. Even girls was the last thing on my mind. Mm, but this I generation, thought, I don't, I don't, I'm I being thought girls were the, girls last, were the last thing on my mind. We're looking for where to play football, <laughs> how to I go and record you. music. I you thought know, that's a lie. I'm telling you the God, the God honest truth. I mean, I had, in fact, when I was 20, alcohol was more on my mind than girls. <laughs> I'm going to be, be honest with you. I mean, I know. So when did you discover girls? I discovered the intimacy of women or like the, 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 the enjoyments or the pleasure in a female's company like later on. I'm in my 20s. Like so you're a late bloomer. So I was a late bloomer. I didn't really send women like that because women was bills. Like, and when we were growing up at that time, GSM had just come out. Mm -hmm. So who was going to yeah. give me one five to be loading with charge card to call girl? Like, those are the last the least things on my mind. I mean, Lighter is there. He's a great guy. He's yeah. a very talented yeah. person. You have no business having a baby. I mean, be smart about it. If you're going to have a child, wait till you're more mature in the game. Wait till you know where your career is going to. And for all these young girls who are groupies, like, hmm. you know they spread leg for everybody. You have, to be, you have to be tactical with who you want to have a child for. Mm -hmm. I mean, she had a child for a J.J. Okocha. She had a child <laughs> for, <laughs> That's so, you know, I, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, an, like, like maybe a Debange or, or a Two-Face or a Hush <laughs> Puppy. I said, okay, perhaps maybe financially you're covered. But even the ones who have three, four, five kids, 
Where are they with their yeah, children today? The it's true. only once once that we get to see David O with all his kids. Mm. Two faces hanging out with all his children, you know, and it's going to be pissed strategic, off. You need to be strategic, but the word on the street is yes. please use a condom. It's very important. I know that when it comes to, I've seen videos of girls who tattoo on Malay on their tummy and like, I don't know what is going on. What kind of fascinating? It's good to be fascinated with, you but let's get to the point. I'm going to marry a woman point. that has a Malay's name on her stomach. <laughs> So I'm well, wondering... to clean that tattoo off you. So I think that we have a lot of young girls. I think it's a Generation Z thing who are so obsessed with celebrities. A lot of mis misguided young girls. You they're know? called groupies. And it's a very dangerous trend because you find women who are ready to just have a child for... With, for anybody just to have a claim to fame. And that's dangerous. What right? if the person doesn't have the kind of money you think he has? I mean, everything does not look... What if the as... person is a flash in the pan? <laughs> Imagine having a child for a one-hit wonder. And then and that's the only song he has, and in his next 30 years in life, he's <laughs> never going to have a child. He's never going to no, be, like, imagine know. having a child for blackface. Oh, no, don't, you don't have to do that. You don't have I'm to just do saying. That. You don't have to do that. Bro, you don't have to do that, bro. Just yes, imagine. Move on. <laughs> you want us to I'm sorry, blackface, blackface. I love you, bro, but I know. it is what it is. So I just think that with this, I'm happy they, I just pray that she doesn't go back with the messages and then start, um, you know, um, what's that word? Him again? Mm -hmm. After his, I just hope he's able to meet up with the financial obligation of things. Hey, because look. she seems to have money. Yeah, She's better start well singing. You know, do. if Lighter and wasn't singing before, let him start singing. If you go and do what Whiskey does, pray fast before you release single because children, school fees, diapers, it's those things cost money. Anyways, let's let's move on to our last trailer story, which is very fun. Daddy Freeze. I probably wish we could watch the video of Daddy Freeze reacts to viral video of women praying for their husbands against cheating yeah, yeah i know you might say tony likes this kind of stories <laughs> but the truth is yeah, yeah. the amount of prayer can prevent a cheating man yeah, no it can work the prayer work you just need to pray Arthur, harder you know what i'm saying they need to pray harder no amount of prayer you know, can prevent can do, a prayer cheating can do. man depends on the kind of prayer cheating. let me tell you how you pray you see that when i saw that thing i was just laughing at those women and those men because that is not how to do it you see it's the symbolism of the prayer that makes the difference so imagine if the man is imagine at two o'clock in the morning Every day, this <laughs> man is waking up, anointing this man with oil in, in the dead middle of the night, and she's praying to God Almighty. I think the prayer may have a lot much more effect okay. than going to a church and they're telling you, put your head on your wife's stomach. A woman pray that any woman you see, let her be like feces unto the man. It's a lie. The man that wants to cheat. It's a lie. It's a have you seen what women are doing on Instagram today? Hmm. Have you gone to Snapchat at hmm. 6 o'clock in the evening? These young girls are doing a whole... They are selling markets. They are mm. advertising their bodies and their flesh to men. Men are creatures of the flesh. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> it's a fact. <laughs> a man is not moved by emotions. He's moved by what he sees, mm. what he can touch, what he can feel. And there are a lot of young girls today who want attention from men. Whether he's married or not, they don't True. care. Very successful men are being caught up in... I mean, look at Bill Gates, for crying out loud. Mm -hmm. Look at Jeff Bezos. These are billionaires of industries in the world. Mm. Their wives are not enough to keep them at home. They can have any man they like. So I think that what will happen is men... If you, I feel like men, if you want to cheat, it's fine. It's in the DNA of a man no, to cheat. No, no. Arthur, Arthur, you're going to go That's around. not true. What I'm saying is a man naturally is moved by what he sees. Now what I'm saying, it's a lot of work. It takes a lot of work mm -hmm. for a man to decide... Then he's not going to cheat. Do I know? Yes, you are correct. That's what I'm saying. But I'm not going to deny the nature and the setup of a man. Mm. But what I'm saying now is that that video does not really. Yeah, I understand the part of prayer, which is uh, really important. But praying for a man not to cheat when a man already is going to cheat. It's or not he's already so cheating. Or he's already because cheating. Because ninety-five percent of the problem. men in that video are going to go from there to their girlfriend's house. <laughs> so where are you coming from? I'm coming from church. I'm just saying, like, and I think society has messed up a whole lot of men, especially African men. African men are of natural polygamists yeah that I, po that polygamy has been extracted from our dna and our people are not going to let me ask you syndrome. why do men cheat let's move why do men cheat men Apple. don't cheat oh that's the truth it men don't good. cheat i don't know this thing that you call cheating men don't cheat so what do they do ah <sighs> this is their number one representative please can you cut this out put on social media you said men don't cheat men now don't i think cheat, my so. advice to women is to Please take care of yourself because a lot of women, because the they are married, they get married and they forget themselves on the beetle, satisfy husband, satisfy child because oh, they want to. And these men go out and cheat. So please package cheating. yourself because oh, these men God. are saying that they are not cheating. What are they, they are doing? They are not cheating. They are what? They are just decompressing ah, stress. Oh God. I'm looking for a much more, you know, family <laughs> friendly term to put it together, but 
I don't want to believe that men cheat out of. I don't Arthur, want to... you are a man. Yes, I'm a man. You are a married I'm man. I'm a man. Yes. Uh -huh. What's the problem? <laughs> so, What's the problem? <laughs> What's the problem? I'm a man. You say? What do they do? They don't cheat. Men don't cheat. What do they do? I'm just saying, society cheats men. How about that? <laughs> They teach us by trying to box men into a conformity. So are you saying that men are open to having you agree that a man, man should have are men more... born polygamists. So it's you simple. you are in support of men, a man cheating. I'm That's in my support question. of polygamy. How about that? <laughs> if you're gonna do it the right way, have more than one woman in your life, legalize. That's what it should be. Hmm. The moment you try to steal Women. your bet rights, you oh Your wife is God. what you say you know. See, I'm telling you something now. Eh? <laughs> Polygamy is the only way out of this mess. <laughs> Legalize polygamy, oh. you will find that the ratio of unhappy women will reduce. The so ratio what happens of to women, women who want to stay faithful to one man? They can go ahead and be as faithful to one man if they like. But I'm just saying that one man can be faithful to five women. I don't know what to say. Please. I think we're done with because we're not finished. I think we're done with trending. <laughs> Arthur. I'm not in support of that. My name is Arthur and I endorse this message. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> but anyways, we're done with trending and of course we're going to the next segment of the show where we'll be talking about everything. And don't please don't take Arthur's word for don't, don't, like, don't. Do please do not condone. We do not condone cheating I in not relationships. Say cheating, polygamy. Polygamy. Yes. Uh, if you want to do that, but every other man should not say because he said that and of course it's an impetus for a man to say he wants to cause I ain't marry no polygamist. No. Wow. No. Anyways, we'll take a break. We're going to be giving you highlights of all the things that went down during MBGN. We'll take a break. I will be right back. Don't go anywhere.